Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all have been enjoying a partially reopened quarantine summer. It's hot pretty much everywhere in America. And I thought instead of the typical technical streetwear and normal streetwear lookbooks, I thought I'd show you guys the techwear fits I'll be rocking this summer. Most of you guys are probably new to techwear, I understand. So let's have a quick beginner breakdown. I'm still new to this aesthetic myself, so don't even trip, we all start somewhere. Anyways, tech wear or technical wear is all about functionality, but not so much to the point where you look like an Under Armour ambassador and mixes function along with the aesthetics. So you get a fashionable, tasteful look while getting that performance in everyday situations. I'll break it down a little bit more during the fits, but first, I just wanna let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Uniden, and we'll talk about them later in this video. So let's come in hot with our first fit. Even though this is an all black fit, it's actually quite breathable, and I don't really overheat in it, so let's start with our top. We've got this Uniqlo Ares and Boxy tee that I always rave about. This shirt is just perfect for shorter guys. And before you go commenting, Johnny, what's your size? Hey, how about you read the damn description or watch the damn video? Please. I love you. You guys are the best. But geez. <laughs> anyway, shorter guys and oversized tees, eh. You can pull it off, but it's also too drapey sometimes because sizing up alone will get you that fitment, but it also lengthens the shirts, giving you some awkward proportions. With a boxy tee, it was intentionally designed for a more relaxed oversized look without the sizing up look. But yeah, the reason why I don't overheat is because this shirt has Uniqlo's renowned Aerism technology. Aerism is a technology from Uniqlo, obviously, that actually wicks away your sweat and uses it to cool your body down. And I gotta tell you, man, this shit works. Not only is it a good fitment, you're gonna stay cool and dry while showing your wallet some love because it isn't too pricey. It's not gonna hurt your wallet. I mean, I have every colorway of this shirt. That's how much I love it. The messenger bag comes from Orbit Gear, an Indonesian brand that hand makes almost every single item. You guys can check the Uniden link in the description for a similar looking bag, or you can go to Orbit Gear's actual site, but I won't have a discount code for you guys there. I really like this sling because it definitely just screams utilitarian Cyberpunk 2077 vibes. Yo, shout out to that PS5. That looks dope. Even though it looks like a, a Wi-Fi router, it's gonna kill the Xbox Series X, man. Sony's, Sony, Sony's always killing it. Anyways, it really helps give this fit those extra bonus tech wear points because without it the fits fine but the sling just completes the look it's also waterproof and has plenty of storage i can even store my laptop in this that's how much storage there is and for the pants we got one of my favorites of all time the nike lab acg cargo pants i know there's a lot better pants but i can't afford those <laughs> but anyways if you're gonna pick these pants up definitely size down a size or two i have them in black in an extra small and a small for the olives and even the smalls man those are a little bit too big for me but even though it is a bit baggy it's to its advantage because it also leaves room for breathability which is why i don't really get too hot in these and some people do some people don't that's uh, my personal experience i feel a lot cooler in this than some other pants that i own but yeah these pants are modular you can adjust the cargos for a more minimal look or full deploy technical look that's why i really dig these plus it is also waterproof you can't beat that you know that's what i always look for in everything that i buy the look is unique and it's very functional i really love these only thing is the price is kind of steep but i think it's well worth it then gotta throw on the element 55s it'd probably better to throw on the 87s which i do own since those are more breathable but i just like the color of these more and yeah that's fit number one super simple all black fit next up this is more of the yo it's gonna rain today but it's gonna be sunny as hell later fit so as i was filming this part of the lookbook of course it didn't rain in fact it hardly ever rains here in new mexico uh actually it's raining right now as i'm recording late at night so just my luck i missed out on filming a lookbook but whatever it's nighttime but i know you guys get more precipitation than i do june is monsoon season however here so i don't know why it ain't raining because i'll find any excuses to throw on a windbreaker or parka anyways we start with the full fit for rain again it's not raining for this lookbook just pretend raindrops are falling on my head Raindrops keep falling. the jacket comes from uniden one of my favorite shell jackets on their site the brand is actually from rain delusion but yeah this jacket is made of 3m scotch guard making it waterproof and sleek so let's just roll right into the sponsor of today's video uniden if you haven't heard of uniden think of it like a hub for a lot of affordable techwear brands as you guys know techwear can get hella hella pricey 
But fortunately, Uniden has a bunch of affordable tech brands that I've personally been following before they even sponsored the channel. So it's really cool to see that it's all in one place. It's a great place to start at if you're just getting into techware or are interested. Their site even has some articles that you can read if you're just getting started and you want to learn more about it. It's a great little spot to learn the basics and understand what techware actually is. I'm definitely going to recommend you guys the jacket that I'm wearing, like I said, but it also has an outer shell for extra pockets and more of that utility look. And you can strip that off for a more minimalistic, just as waterproof technical look, which is what I'm rocking right now. So you get two jackets for the price of one. They're also known for their Steven cargos, which you guys have been seeing me wear way too much in past videos. Definitely is kind of hot to wear those in the summer unless it's rainy, but yeah, I still think it's worth picking up. You can also save 10% off by clicking the link down below and using my discount code FLY. Trust me, if you live in a place where it precipitates a lot, you're gonna wanna get these cargos or their jacket. And also, thank you Unidin for sponsoring today's video. But yeah, I chose this jacket with this fit and situation because yeah, the jacket will keep me dry and when the sun comes out, it serves another function. So two jackets in one, but also you can sling it around your body. Now I just wanna iterate, I'd only do this if it rained or will rain because on a hot dry day, it's just unnecessary to wear it as a sling. It's, you know, you're doing too much. If it's raining, it's cool. It still looks good if you sling it around your body. I definitely recommend this jacket and because the weather for this fit will be rainy to sunny, of course I'd want some summer vibes and breathability. So I'm rocking this olive tank from Edge Lifestyle. Shout out to my boy How To Beast for sending this over. With tank tops, you don't want them stringer types of tanks and you also don't want anything way too wide. This is a nice in-betweener and I feel like it does add that quote unquote performance vibe to the fit. And uh, just to throw this out there if you're gonna wear a tank lift some weights a little bit i feel like it does add and complement that whole tech wear vibe but it's also not required i would just honestly just do it for your health but if you do pack on some muscle it does look nice pants come from 511 tactical i talk about these a lot they are the apex pants waterproof lightweight and breathable with a lot of zipper storage it's a go for me just be careful though the dwr coating does wear off as you wash it so it makes it less waterproof over time so just keep that in mind but yeah they're cuffed and i like the fitment of these because it complements almost every sneaker in this case i'm rocking the new balance 997s it's chunky and more wide than a typical sneaker so you want to lean into that kind of proportioning and balance it out with a more relaxed fitting pant. A super tapered fit honestly wouldn't look the best with these types of sneakers, but other runners like Flyknit Racers or Ultra Boost, for sure. This is my go-to fit for those rainy turn mostly sunny summer days. Next fit we have for them hot, hot days. Like humid as hell and 100 degrees, this fit is perfect for those types of days. Headgear is a simple dad hat from Amazon. Everything I mentioned will be linked below. The shirt is Uniqlo's Airism, but I feel these are way cooler than the boxy shirt I mentioned earlier. Fitment is a regular fitting t-shirt, you know, hugs the arms, feels light on the body, and also it's cool to the touch, and it's also hella cheap. You guys are gonna wanna pick these up. The feeling of how cool it is on your body, it actually feels really nice. Shorts come from Aesthetic Revolution, honestly, don't get these. They are quite pricey and there are probably better options out there. I'm just a fan of Aesthetic Revolution. But yeah, it's a sweat wicking, breathable, and it's also cut above the knees, which is really how most of your shorts should fit. Has a zipper pocket as well as a thigh pocket to keep your phone in whenever you're running. It has 3M reflective drawstrings. There's a lot of functionality with these. The kicks are the Element 87s, which are the more breathable option to the 55s. It's just gonna cost you a little bit more. And the crew socks with shorts and sneakers is a look I'm still kind of getting used to, but I think it looks good with this particular fit. And topping off the fit with just a regular backpack that I got from Amazon. It isn't no techie Y3 or military bag, just a plain Herschel bag, but I feel it completes the look and it also gives this fit a little bit of that summer hiker core vibe. Last fit is for those sunny days with a chance of rain. So I'd say the best moments in life are hearing it was a good day while playing San Andreas, watching Revenge of the Sith, nailing a one tap on Counter Strike, and bringing out the functional technical jacket during inclement weather. Can't beat that. Starting off with the fit, we got this regular tank top from Essentials, you know, just a normal tank top breathable and light. I've got on this sling bag from Peak Design to hold camera gear, but also to hold this packable waterproof technical travel jacket. That's the thing about techwear guys, you can get excited about packing down a jacket, not having to worry about wrinkles, all about functionality. But yeah, the Peak Design bag is waterproof as well, has plenty of storage, and you can pull this jacket out whenever it rains unexpectedly, and you're fully waterproof. I really dig this jacket because of the color, it comes from the North Face. The techwear motif is just known for being black dominant, 
So the light tan color is also a nice switch up. It's also quite breathable and lightweight. So you won't really overheat in this jacket anyways. Pants come from Orbit Gear, you know, the same brand for the sling bag that Unit and also hosts on their site. This is the Recon Pants, double stretch materials, lightweight and breathable. Not really waterproof though, but has that tech wear vibe going. I really like these because of the slim cargo pockets. And just completing the look with a simple pair of white vans. Overall, a more fitted tech wear fit, but one of my favorites. If it doesn't rain, no worries. The fit without the jacket is still dope. And then with the jacket, chef's kiss. All right, fellas, I hope you guys understand tech wear a bit more. If you don't, again, just hit up Unidin in the link below. This is an aesthetic that does require some due diligence and also some patience, and this applies to all sorts of fashion. Honestly, just study the aesthetics that you like, follow the official subreddits, learn about the main designers and brands, but yeah. What was your guys' favorite fit? Let me know in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram at FlyWithJohnnyTai, subscribe to the channel, and hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. My channel needs some blessing. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free, check out Unidin, and I'm out, bro. Peace.